it was awesome. Um, first pro day, pro day, last pro day, you know what I'm saying? It's just like seeing all the guys here and just Florida State. And now I had the combine, and now we had the pro day. It is really similar, but it's like just your home with all your boys. And um, teams teams were interested to come see you and um, doing different drills. And it's just it's really like a practice with just you know, 15 minutes, you know. But it was a lot of fun. A lot of waiting around the beginning, but then they picked up. And in 15 minutes, they try, you know, they try to show us everything they have. And um, it was fun. I had my mind set on just going out there and doing my script and throwing the ball to Rodney Bo. Uh, Chris Thompson and Lonnie, so those guys did a great job catching the ball. I think we only missed twice, um, so it was a good day. I didn't do a lot of things because I didn't want to come mine, but it was really good. Like another chance to get out there and show everyone what I can do, you know, how I move, you know, and, that how, and, and also talk to a lot of coaches and, you know, pick their brains and they'll pick my brain and really, you know, find out how much I know about the game. You know, you just get so you've been dreaming since you was a kid, you know, knowing that's about to come true, you know. And, um, Working hard, you know, not knowing it's not going to come easy. It, it's just mind blowing to me, you know. I'm just amazed. I mean, I'm in the days right now, and I'm just trying to make this dream into reality. Pretty good. Um, they couldn't do it better, you know. Um, there's a reason my name is up there, and um, Florida State did a great job preparing for it. Um, I credit almost everything in Florida State and my coaches, and I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big coaches guy. I think um, listening to, being coachable, that's the main thing. Trying to get better and like play on the next level. First off, being around top-notch players, you know, since I've been here, especially the past two years, um, you know, we've had, I think, we have four guys actually going to be in New York for the draft. So, I mean, that hasn't been done at FSU in a while. That's how it used to be, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, just being around top-notch talent, when I was at the Senior Bowl, I felt like I was playing a great defense. But I had great defense here at Florida State. So, you know, the fact of moving from FSU into the Senior Bowl and all those other things, it was easy. So, uh, it was great, man. Just the way we practice, the way we work, like just, you know, when I, you know, I would say all the time, you know, the way we work on the offensive line here at Florida State, you know, when you go and work with other offensive linemen, you can feel the difference, you know, just coming off the ball and just the overall knowledge, you know, it just gave me, a, it gave me a one up, you know, like I go into rooms now and I'm talking about protections that, you know, they talk about where you won't get an opportunity at other schools, you know, and it's been great because, you know, also, you know, just, just the way you work here at Florida State, you know, and the way they got the program, it's like, you know, going to work every day is like, you know, you're used to it, you know, you go used to going out there and grinding every day and so it's been like, like I said, you know, we ain't got school right now, so it's like even more, it's even more fun because all you have to worry about all day is working out. So it's been great. I love the game. You know, I sacrifice a lot, and I just love the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. When you tell me something, I'm gonna do it. And um, me, maybe if I'm not the best at it, I'm gonna try to work out. It. I'm trying to get better at it, and just trying to do everything they want me to do. They're gonna get a winner. Um, they're gonna get a guy who works extremely hard, doesn't do a lot of talking as far as saying what I'll do and what I do here and what I do there. But I just, you know, I'm gonna put the work in when I have the opportunity to have success. I make sure I take advantage of it. They're gonna get a competitor, person that's gonna compete every play. You know, um, person that's not gonna give up. You know, person that's going to win. Uh, passionate about the very passionate about the game. You know, don't want to give up anything. No yards, no nothing. Um, locked down, locked down corner. I mean, I can say her name at all, you know, but a hard working corner, you know, that's gonna work on the field and off. Hungry, you know, I'm hungry. I've been. Nothing's changed, you know. They, you know, what people have seen is not a myth. It's not a myth, you know. Like, people think it's crazy. To me, it's not crazy, you know. It's not sunk in yet, and I don't want it to sink in. You know, hopefully, you know, it's sinking once I've retired. But, you know, right now I don't have time. I, I don't have time to let it sink in. You know, I've got to work, you know, now that pro day is over, you know, really start training and getting ready for the season, getting ready for mini count, hit the ground running. You know, I mean, I wish I knew how where I was drafted so I could get a playbook and start learning right now. But, you know, I'm just excited, you know. It's a, you know, it's a whole new world and, you know, I just, I'm just ready to go at it, you know, full, full speed, you know, just hit the ground running. I think I had an opportunity to go and compete. You know, I think I started with the Senior Bowl. Uh, and beside actual on the field physical things, I think the biggest thing I did was interview well with the teams. And I think that's where a lot of the coaches got a, you know, a sense of my personality, uh, a sense of my football IQ, what I know and what I've learned from Coach Fisher and Coach Craig here at FSU. So, uh, you know, it's great. Great.